Welcome to another episode of Autumn in New York, my series where I've been featuring all kinds of film images from a recent trip to New York City. So anytime we travel, my wife and I like to seek out offbeat, lesser known attractions that some tourists might miss, and this trip was no exception. We got to try some fantastic Ukrainian food in a little hole in the wall basement restaurant called Strecha. We got to check out the Museum of Street Art, which is in the stairwell of the Citizen M Hotel in the Bowery. It's 20 floors of amazing murals, super cool. Now, as much as we appreciate these hidden gems, we also love us a good tourist trap too. So we each picked out a couple of totally cliche, touristy things to do while we were in New York. For my wife, it was the Statue of Liberty and a carriage ride around Central Park. And for me, it was Katz's Deli in Coney Island. Now you can debate all you want to about the best deli in New York City. All I know is that the pastrami and sour pickles from Katz's did not disappoint. What did disappoint, at least at first, was Coney Island. You see, I envisioned Coney Island as being this super vibrant place teeming with people, all kinds of characters, great for street photography. Well, the day we were there, New York City was dealing with the remnants of Tropical Storm Ophelia. It rained almost the entire day, and except for the Korean barbecue and hot pot joint we went to for lunch, almost everything was closed. You can imagine my disappointment. This is my first chance in a 54, maybe my only chance to visit Coney Island. So with everything closed, I was pretty bummed for about two minutes, and then it hit me. Everybody can take pictures of Coney Island when it's crowded and crawling with people. With everything closed, my wife and I had the whole boardwalk practically to ourselves. And let's face it, taking pictures of deserted amusement rides and unpopulated boardwalks, well, that's kind of my jam. So I leaned into the eerie vibe, loaded my Canon Rebel TI with a roll of Kodak Ultramax and set out to get some shots. Now since this was a short roll, only 24 exposures, I'm going to share the whole roll, all 24 shots with you now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Coney Island on Kodak Ultramax. If you want to see more of New York City and all kinds of film stocks, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the channel for brand new videos in the Autumn in New York series. Until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film.